don't want to call it a sense of returning to a sense of normalcy, but did it feel like a step in the right direction in terms of the healing process as a group, getting back out there at home? Yeah, for sure. I mean, we're, we're doing a lot of the same things that we've been doing. It's just not making those mistakes um, in crucial moments. I think um, <clears throat> the sense of comfortability and um, the sense of coming back to normal comes from practice. We had a, um, a great couple of days um, recovering, taking care of the body, um, knowing what we wanted to do, getting the game plan ready and came out here and executed. How, how big has it been getting together as a group and emotionally, you know, trying to get past and move forward and heal from uh, from the tragedy on Sunday? Oh, it's very big, especially um, those who know him personally and um, those who uh, he was just a, admiring from afar. Um, as a kid growing up, you wanted to be be like him in some type of way. Um, so for that to happen in that type of manner is definitely a tragedy, but you just got to stick together and... Um, get through the tough times together, and I think that's what builds camaraderie as well. I'm sure, Torian, there's a lot of guys that had some sort of connection to Kobe. But have you guys been especially mindful of Kyrie and Spencer, you know, and kind of said things to them to help them deal with it? 100%. Um, I think we've said things as a group to each other. I don't think we've necessarily uh, single-handedly um, picked them out and went to them and said anything. I think it was more of a group thing. Um, and I think that's the great part about it. You just you do things as a group, and um, I'm sure they felt our love. <clears throat> um, I think I know the tribute today um, did a lot for those two, especially. And um, I told Kyrie myself that I was going to be with him early. So just trying to be there for your brothers as much as you can and, and get through the tough times and, and continue to take it day by day. That's all you can really do. Numbers when you shoot uh, with when Kyrie plays are significantly better. Than when he's been out, is that a coincidence? Oh uh, man, I'm just—it's not—it's not something I've ever asked myself or told myself or someone's ever told me. I think it's just being out there with um, good players overall. I never really paid attention to who I shoot better with playing-wise, but I mean, obviously Kyrie makes the game way a lot easier. Um, a lot of people have to have to account for him, and, and tonight my man was overhelping a little bit too much. Um, he found me, other players found me, we found each other. Um, I, that's just how the game goes. You mentioned he had a nasty bounce pass. What was that you were referring to? Uh, it was a bounce pass that he made from the middle of the paint to the corner in front of Detroit's bench. Um, I kind of didn't see the ball coming until um, it had passed somebody's body up and it ended up in my hands. I shot a quick three, I missed it. But um, those are just the type of shots you got to hit. Those are the type of passes you're going to receive. Um, from a player, from a player like that. We'll ask him later, but does uh, DeAndre owe Gary Temple dinner or something along those lines? Yeah, yeah them, those guys are close off the court, so <laughs> I'm sure they make up some, some way. But yeah, Dre got to pay for something. He got, he got to, he got to pay GT back for that one. <laughs>